7 billion people in this world. Everyone knows that, but I don't think anyone understands just how many people that is. I'm sure that if I asked you to name 10 people, you could. And they'd be people whose lives you know a lot about. What about if I asked you to name 100 people? A 1,000? Could you even name a 1,000 names, let alone know each and every single one of those people? And when you take that even further, you've got hundreds of thousands of lives, millions of lives, and finally, 7 billion lives. There is no way one person could know each and every single one of those 7 billion people. Yet, each and every single one of them exists, and each and every single one of them has their own story. That may seem like a self-explanatory statement to you. Of course everyone has their own story, you might say. It wasn't a self-explanatory for me. Until about a year ago, I lived in a bubble where I viewed the world as my universe, and the only important faces in the crowd were the few people that I could pick out. It was as though I was the main character in the movie, and the people that filled the halls of my school, they were just extras. Last year, I started volunteering once a week at the Boys and Girls Club of Raleigh. It was different from any other volunteering I'd done before, because it was a lot more personal. My job there was to work with the kids and help them with their homework, but really, we ended up just talking. And they talked to me about everything. They talked to me about their lives, about family, about friends, about school, about anything and everything that came to mind. Talking with these children really opened up my eyes to different ways that other people live their lives. Until that point in my life, I spent all of my time surrounded by people who were just like me. People who thought like me, people who believed the same things I did, people who lived the same kind of life I lived. What these elementary schoolers were telling me, it was totally new. Now, I'm not telling you this because I think you're interested in the weekly exploits of a teenage girl. I'm telling you this because my volunteering acted as a catalyst for what is probably the most important paradigm shift in my life so far. There's a word in the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows that describes this paradigm shift perfectly. Sonder. Sonder is defined as the realization that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and complex as your own. For me, that realization came while I was in a car. I was driving home from the Boys and Girls Club, and we were on Hillsborough Street, which, if you haven't been there, is one of the most amazing roads I've ever been on. It connects downtown Raleigh to the NC State campus to carry, and along the way there are little restaurants and stores and coffee shops and so much more. We were driving along Hillsborough Street, and I kept seeing people pass by me. A college student walking somewhere with their earbuds in. A couple getting food at Snoopy's at the street corner. I kept seeing these people pass by me, and it hit me that just like everyone else I'd interacted with that day, they too had lives. They had their joys, and their problems, and their intricate stories, and I could never learn them. That was the first time I experienced Sonder. It happened a lot more frequently after that. It was a very unique emotion in that there isn't something that triggers it. It just popped up sporadically in my thoughts, giving me intense periods of both clarity and of curiosity. I'd be walking down the hall at school, and a sudden desire to know what the people around me would hit me. I'd be at the mall and see a family pass by, and wonder what was going on in their life. One time, it was while I was playing a video game, and I realized that the women on the other side of the screen weren't just computer generated thoughts. I'd known that. I'd known that they were real people, but it just then hit me that their lives were as complex and rich as my own. I don't think Sonya will ever stop coming, though, and I don't think I ever wanted to. There are 7 billion people in this world, each of them with their own unique and intricate stories. I still don't understand what that means, and I don't think I ever fully will. But one year after the first time I felt Sonder, I think I can say I understand what that means a little bit more. It means there are 7 billion people in this world who feel the same emotions I do, who enter the same types of relationships I do, who suffer through the same types of struggles that I do. Knowing that there are 7 billion complex lives in this world, I can be more respectful of the few lives whose paths I 